In this lecture, I'll show you a very natural way of constructing a post set uh, from a subset of an existing post set. So um, let P be a partially ordered set. And suppose we have a subset Q of P, any subset, then Q inherits the structure of a post set from P. How is that? Given Q1, Q2 in Q, you define in the post set Q if and only if Q1 is less than or equal to Q2 in P. So then we call this the induced sub post set of P. Well, depending on the choice of Q, you get different induced sub post sets. So we could say Q is called an induced sub post set of P. Given any post set, uh, every subset gives rise to what can be thought of as a new post set in its own right. Let's take an example. So let's take positive integers. And remember this has two interesting partial orders. One is the total order, the usual uh, order, but then there's the divisibility order, which today I'll denote by a vertical line. So we say that M uh, A divides N. If M divides M. And we've seen that uh, this is a partial order on the set of all positive integers. Now let's look at um, the set Q uh, to be the set of all integers whose only prime factors are 2 and 3. So all positive integers whose prime factors are 2 and 3. So you can write them as 2 to the sum power, 3 to the sum other power, where a and b are greater than or equal to 0. So this also includes um, the element 1 of p. Uh, maybe I should say uh, a and b belong to n, the set of non-negative. Remember in this course, n stands for non-negative integers. Um, so then it turns out that the induced sub set structure on uh, Q is actually uh, a familiar one. It is isomorphic to uh, non-negative integers cross non-negative integers. Um, <clears throat> so, how does this isomorphism work? Uh, an element of n cross n, uh, a comma b, will correspond to the element of q of the form 2 to the power a, 3 to the power p. And, uh, well, recall, what was the partial order structure on n cross n? So, we have a1, b1 is said to be less than or equal to a2, b2, if and only if, a1 is less than or equal to a2 and b1 is less than or equal to b2. But that's the same as saying that 2 to the power a1, 3 to the power b2 divides, uh, no, 2 to the power, 3 to the power b1 divides 2 to the power a2, 3 to the power b2. And that's the uh, divisibility partial order on uh, Q, which is a subset of P. Okay, and let me just leave you with a small exercise which you can think over. Um, can you find a subset 
of P um, such that the induced post set uh, under the divisibility order is isomorphic to the set of all uh, subsets of the set of three elements one, two, three. Okay, so think about that. 